I just realised that Wi-Fi is down, hence I can't upload these levels that are made so far. By the time the episode of Simeon comes out, which is later than this one, then it should be uploaded and being have been played already. So Wi-Fi is down. Internet works, but in, Wi-Fi is down. But this is the third of my new levels. After Tennis Court I made, I can't upload it, but I have completed it already, so that's so preparing, it shows that I have already cleared it, cleared them from checkpoints or whatever else. So, unlike the Battletoads one, I've done what I've needed to do there. And at least it does keep track even though the Wi-Fi is down, so it doesn't make you constantly try and upload it once the internet is on, because that would not be fair otherwise. You can see just how fruitful my attempts are at playing this stage. I want to show people these before Super Mario Maker 2 comes out. There's less than a month to go, so I wouldn't have much time on this. This is a very, very difficult level. The previous one was first auto scroll. This is even this is fast auto scroll. And the first spin jump you need to do in this in any of my levels, because I don't like doing Kaizo tricks and tricks that don't involve normal running and jumping. Like, my difficult moves are the basic stuff made really hard. But no, thought well, has to be done to which button you need to press, because you shouldn't, you shouldn't know, it's just how hard you press it really, that would mine. As you can would have seen with the Battletoads level. Yeah. You're meant to spin, but unfortunately I seem to be spinning too early. When I was trying to upload this, that was definitely a major issue. These are the stumps, if you hadn't already seen that. And I put the coins in there to make it look more like it. The two cricket bats, I jumped too high. You have to time that jump rather well. And the moving platform that I'm supposed to land on ended up being really good. Even though it was actually quite difficult. Like, it could have ended up being really difficult and really bad, but the timing ended up really well, me randomly placing it there. And you have to move to the right straight away, so you'll always die straight away before you realise, unless I add in run immediately. Well, it's not supposed to spoon feed it, I guess. It's never going to be done first try, so... Okay, I some how did I even manage that? I've never died down there, I don't even know how that happened. Whatever that was, that was really weird. You see me complete that bit once, you'll be seeing every death like you saw in the other two. I didn't move quite quickly enough, that's okay. No, it wasn't. You literally have to run. On, on the black screen you have to be holding the run button. Yeah, I did it. It's very easy to die to those bombs, too. Not quite. I'll see you guys back there. Darn it. The stumps are definitely, the, the beginning bit's definitely the hardest, so the deaths will rack up quickly on this level. Unlike the Balto's level, one of my slowest paced ones that I have. Apart from Tennis Court, honestly due to the nature of the level that it is. And you did a sport to this. Your cricket is supposed to be one of the slowest sports to play. But this is definitely not slow. There's usually quite a long gap between balls. There's usually like six balls and an over and it's like four minutes or so. I'm having a lot more deaths in four minutes. A lot of times hitting those stumps. It's going to be a record. This is, this literally is a record for cricket. Unless it's like a fielding drill, in which case the stumps get hit more than I, they are right now. I'd like to see a set of stumps made of spikes. That, that, that would just be funny. I wonder how they managed to pull that one off. I'm like the battle so I'm actually having some fun talking about stuff with you because under no pressure with... But this isn't quite as crazy as Battletoads. But as I keep saying to the pl people playing, it's meant to be unforgiving because it's meant to be a recreation of Battletoads, however inaccurate it was. Why am I not saying this in the other video? Whatever. <laughs> okay, I definitely want to pass this now. 
definitely want to pass it. Gotta be careful in, in, in midair. I guarantee you don't hit the other spikes. Nearly didn't make that. Lucky it's Mario Bros. U, so you can spin, spin in the air. And the others you can't. And I suppose that's why Kaiser is more on Mario Bros. U, because you can do all sorts of crazy manoeuvres, cancelling ground pounds, shaking in the air, as well as the ones you can do in other sta stages. Cool. Yeah, I have no explanation for quite a lot of these deaths, so you'll probably just see images. This is good. Pay attention. Too low, I reckon. Trying to counterbalance. Yay, that's how you do that. Uh, that's You have to get momentum there. People will be frustrated by that because if you don't get momentum there, it's very hard to actually pass that. Thankfully, the, the stage scrolling fast has really helped with that because if it was scrolling slowly, you'd really not be very happy with that part of the stage. Yeah, stage, the, the stumps don't usually go out at the sides with those spikes at the bottom but that's not, that's not part of the same um, yeah I probably should have put a row of coins there or sort of something to make you know that's not part of the stumps stumps are rectangular or they're cylinders actually but this is 2D so I can't really recreate that but the shape is correct the row of spikes in the middle there, there are three there are three round cylinders and two little things on top that make the stumps the, the, the tiny row of spikes in there that's not there that's just to make the jump difficult ah I'll get this we'll see you guys back there don't know how I missed that. The platforms, those platforms there on the middle of the screen and, and that those ones in the middle right there, I, I never use them because I'm not that big on decoration. So I just try and create a stage. Yeah, if you jump too far, you get hit by that bomb even when you try and jump over it. So you have to be careful there too. That's one of the more annoying, one thing you don't want to have to think about ones. Yeah, you have to face left for a split second to avoid that bomb. jump too high. I, I second guess, if you second guess you definitely can't pass that. You just have to assume you're going to get through. And yes, shaking once probably helps too. Didn't jump slightly too soon. I hadn't made that error so far, I'm annoyed by that. Whatevs. You do start to get into a rhythm and yet you don't understand why. It's very hard to get the rhythm on that first section, and then you suddenly start doing it every time. And you're thinking, "What?" It's like any sport, tennis, cricket, what otherwise. You start to find your timing. You start to work it out, and then you just f st 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 fig <laughs> don't figure out how to do it again. It's it's that it's that sort of level. Like sometimes you have no idea. Your fingers are totally in sync and you don't actually know what you've actually managed to do. It's just creating a stage that can be problematic, particularly if you have checkpoints and the level and don't shake before you land because otherwise you can't do it. Midday here at the Sikorsky household, as you can tell by that noise. Seriously, I want to... That's the second bat. There's two bats. 
only one ball. Really, I needed a second set of stumps, but believe me, it was hardly enough as it was. So, I didn't have the second set, and I didn't have a pitch either. So I'm not sure if to call it cricket pitch or cricket gear to me, but I suppose it doesn't really matter if the names are that exact. I mean, I call it, it's called a door, and it's called a door too, when it's probably the most stupid name I could have come up with. But I have to deal with it now, it's not even remotely relevant to how the level works. In fact, that's the only level I'm sending to Twitch right now. Because Battle Turns I'm trying to remake. Tennis Court does still get played a lot because that's my best level because no one has a problem with it. In terms of the actual style of the level, even water haters do try it. And one person didn't like water sticks but he really desperately tried to complete the level and he did. In fact it was so fun to watch. I think it was an Aussie and there was certainly another guy as well. They were really fun to watch, angst, angsty watching, watching this level. So that's how you know you made a good one. If you have fun watching them, and they seem to be having a lot of fun playing it. I have had lots of nice experiences watching people trying to create, beat this, some of this rubbish that I make. It's just probably I'm so more relaxed playing this level. Maybe because I've played the Battletoads level for months and I'm just sick of it. It's just, I'm sick of my own level. I haven't played Mayhem and Mansion for a really long time. I haven't needed to. I haven't even submitted it. I've had other crap to send. Because when I first went to Twitch, that's what it was for. I've got like 90 different plays on it now. 1600. Too high. You always don't notice that spike's there. I wanted the whole row of top coins to be spiked, but there's no way to actually bounce and not get hit by the top ones, so that's why I had to remove those spikes put the coins there. I will complete this. Seriously? I also had that little change there as well, if you don't jump. <laughs> Serious? Mm, okay. I did that wrong. said about rhythm now my rhythm's gone I can't pass this first section now I pressed the jump button several times my bruise you logic that was also intelligent I did something wrong. Press the jump button. Did something wrong. up too soon apparently even though I thought I was on the ground for a long time there okay something went wrong I seem to wall slide there for a second off the cannon firing thing that may hinder you just enough. Yeah, this is getting tedious and really annoying now. I can't do this all of a sudden. Now, 
almost passed it once. First jump a little higher than that and then shake onto those Coopers. That's the last thing before a checkpoint boss area. Which is only a problem for me because I had to do it all without dying. Which I think I managed to do. I think I managed to put the boss first try so it can be done. Because I practiced it before trying to upload it. Oops. Any case, we'll see you guys at the end of the stage. No! I have made that error quite a few times already. You have to shake or jump just high enough because you always land just short and it always looks like you've made that as well. Like the red Cooper's like on the right hand edge and so you die instead of making it. If you spend a lot of time on the level that will annoy you so much. No, it didn't hit the checkpoint. That's never happened. If I've cleared that spike where the checkpoint is, then I make it. Oh, I'm so annoyed. I made it twice in a row and now I'm going to fail miserably. Welcome to my levels. Welcome to Mario Maker in general. Welcome to being bad at this game. We have all three of those qualities, then you are not going to be good at any of my levels because most of my levels are three four percent clear rate decent i think a very, a very standard a very good level i had to shake last moment then didn't go high enough oh i'm not happy with that that went wrong because I didn't mean to shake because my finger was too close to that button. Didn't jump on the bomb. It's pretty much longer than the Battletoads one now. It's actually made me harder. Oh, cool. It's just the Battletoads is way harder to actually upload as the creator. It's a much longer stage, much more perilous stage for longer. This will have more deaths and probably a lower clear rate. But Balto's level is actually harder to actually pass. If you're in a hurry, you'll never complete Battletoads <laughs> as a level or the actual game itself. I landed on him. Did I get killed by his eyes? I don't even know what he... Mm. Whatever. Uh. Get it, finally. Yeah, it's a good thing to stay there because it's actually hard to, um, unless you are not pressing the jump button when you're spinning on him, you won't be able to spin and not hit the spikes. And I added that there to add a little bit of spice. So I want to put bosses in, like I've done with the pipe scrolling one. It's not a great boss mine. It's probably the worst part of the level, but I want there to be bosses in this stage. Of course, in the Battletoads, in the remakes of stuff, I can't really. But others, I try to. Like, like, like the Challenge Rush. Tennis Court is just not one of those levels. Unless I added it into the castle section like I like there is a castle section like I could have done that
I like how it just seems to like lumber over. I did it. It's not the end of the level. Thankfully the checkpoint is there because those fire things are there and then if you dawdle, two things are converging on you. That's rather amusing. Yeah, that was extremely messed up. But I've completed my three levels. I can't upload them yet, but by the time they come out, they should be. So, I hope you all enjoy them. But now, there will be the 100 Mario Challenges. Easy and normal with Simeon, and then Expert and Super Expert for one last time. We'll see you guys on those.